Okay guys, uh, so I get this question like four or five times a week, how do I empty out the vapor or the gas out of a propane tank? And I'm actually live action doing it right now, so I figured I would just jump on here real quick and do this video for you. So here, let's go outside. The first thing you're gonna need, of course, is all your safety gear and all this stuff. I've already hooked this up, so I'm not gonna worry about the safety glasses, but also some good actual gas leak detector. Don't use like water with Dawn dish soap in it. Like get, get some gas leak detector. It's not that expensive. So we're gonna go out here and look. I'm gonna turn the camera around here and I'll show you what I'm doing. Here, this is a uh, 250 gallon propane tank. Um, it has uh, vapor in it, but there's no gas. If you look, the percentage knob is at zero. That's what you're looking for. And when you look at these tanks, there's just different kinds of valves and stuff on them. What you're looking for right here is uh, that connection. It's a left-hand thread. And I've got this hose hooked up to a uh, genuine weed burner right here. This is a high pressure weed burner. You can hear the roar of the gas coming out of there. What you do is you hook your hose up, make sure you've got the right kind of burner hooked up. You can't hook uh, a low pressure burner up to this. It's gotta be a, a high pressure burner. Otherwise you'd need a regulator in here. So you hook that up and then make sure you got some kind of a reliable stand. This is a pipe vise and a piece of conduit with a 90 bent in it. And the goal is, is you want to have your flame up off the ground. Ignore all them trailer houses. We try to keep them out of the video, but what the heck. Embrace the suck, right? <laughs> anyway, so here's that burner burning. So it's 500,000 BTUs. It's a high pressure burner. You can't see the flame, but it's lit. And you want to keep that flame up off the ground in case you got a gas leak or something out of this tank. That way, uh, if gas puddles, you don't have that flame on the ground. Make sure you have plenty of airflow. You don't want to do this in the corner of a building or something where there's no air moving because if for some reason you have a gas leak, you want the, you want the air to blow the gas away from where, where you're burning. Make sure that your flame is upwind of the tank. So the wind is actually blowing that, that way. So I've got my, my burner there and the wind's blowing across this tank, bringing the, anything that would blow that way now once you hook this up you want to you want to squirt that leak detector on the joint make sure that you don't have no gas leaks if you have a gas leak you'll have bubbles coming out now i know for a fact that this packing on this stem is leaking no matter what i do so if you look right here that's what you'll see now I'm gonna stop this and turn this around and preach at you for a minute. Okay, so sometimes whenever you get a tank and you're gonna use this thing for a smoker, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the pressure out of the tank. We're not worried about like getting 100% of the gas out. We're just trying to get this pressure down to zero if we can. And uh, that's why we're burning off the pressure with this big burner. Now I just showed you that the, uh, the packing nut with this leak detector, I can tell that the packing nut on that valve is leaking. So there's nothing I can do about it. The gas is in the tank. The gas man's going to do the same thing. He's going to soak that and he's going to try to keep it out in, in uh, open air, get the pressure off the tank. And if you were going to put a new valve in it, he would do the same exact thing. So just be very careful. Make sure you got plenty of air movement, control where the flame's at, keep it way up off the ground and uh, you won't have any trouble. Keep your eye on it while it's burning off too. Once you get all the pressure out of the tank, the burner's gonna turn yellow and it's gonna just barely, barely burn. So then you're gonna shut the burner off, pop the valves out of the tank, then you can fill it with water. But the goal is to get all the pressure out of the tank. So anyway, I hope that helps you. We'll talk to you later.